angels and and demons, right? When when, when, when you go into that wilderness, you, you should not go. Yeah, 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 but you should not go into the wilderness unspiritually prepared. That's why you know chanting one psalms, learning one psalms, learning who they are in Christ and His kingly character. It's one thing okay. to say yes, Father, Abba, Abba, His Majesty, but don't forget that relationship, right? As His Majesty says, that may our 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 kith and our kin, our brothers who rise up in the future. He's praying to the Son. The Son pray to the Father. The Father pray or communicate, or pray means speak. He spoke to the Son, right? So when, when we see his majesty in the autobiography, book one, and he's praying to Jesus Christus, because the Son is now in Orion. Or, you know, what they call heaven is, is in the direction of Orion, of Orion. Because if you look in the Greek, right, if you look in the Greek, Oranos, right, is what the Greeks learned from the Egyptians of heaven, and that's the word they use as the heavens. Right? I'm talking about the higher heaven. Huh? Yeah, 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 I'm here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was, I had questions, I was questioning the afterlife, you know, and uh, I felt the you know, I was, you know, under this trend that, you know, fast that I was, you know, and, um, now that I have a, I mean, you know, I have to fast that. I have to fast for a long time, so, you know, I have a clean you know, but, um... Usually, usually a fast is like... I kind of knew there was an afterlife, you know what I'm saying? An afterlife, life after death, you know, this whole liberty thing, and, I mean, is that, I mean... Oh, okay, okay, take it one one, one step at a time. This is why I, maybe in my reasonings I touch on so many different points because I'm speaking to so many different people. The, 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 the question you brought up about Moses and about, about Yeshua, about the yeses, um, in the, and, and fasting and, 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 and the 40-day fast. The 40-day fast of, of say, Moses and, and Yeshua. That's what's called an extreme. That's an extreme. That's like a master fast, right? I, I would not suggest a 40-day fast like that. You see what I'm saying? Because remember, it says day and night. Even most um, faithful Ethiopian Orthodox Christians and, and Hebrews, when they usually fast, it's usually, uh, uh, even the Muslims do this, it's usually the, the hours of the day, the 12 hours of the day. You know what I mean? So if they eat anything, they might eat a little something, but nutritious, not gorge themselves, nutritious before the, before, like set, before the dawn comes up. And then in the evening, right, there's fasting food, as I mentioned before, and it's called som wet. Som, som wet is like basically, if, if you go to an Ethiopian restaurant, they, they usually would, would offer Rastafari som wet, and it's usually vegetables. It's usually vegetables and greens and food like that. On a fast, even a, even a 12 hour of the day fast, that is very, very important. That is very, very important. If you're eating Mickey D's, McDonald's, if you're eating GMO junk food and so forth and so on, and, and in addition, I would even suggest ones take certain, certain of the young longevity, the, the minerals and the nutrients. See, a lot of people, they pop vitamins, and some of these vitamins out there uh, have toxins in it. There's some news articles out there which will tell you that some vitamins have been recalled because they find that they're putting heavy metals and all kind of funny stuff in the vitamins. So people are taking certain type of vitamins. So we have to know what we're putting into our body, just like if, 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 if you want spirituality, you have to do your study and your research so you'll know what somebody's telling you. This is why I tell everyone when you listen to me and I'm touching on some areas of Scripture, you understand, take it, take it one step at a time and look these things up for yourself and, and begin to question yourself and, about them and pray, pray, to, pray to God, pray to God for wisdom. God will give anyone wisdom who truly seeks it. You, you know what I'm saying? Especially we have it in the authority of our love of the Messiah. 
because we recognize that the, that the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is one because we recognize that Hala Selassie come. But we cannot be naked spiritually. You know, you know, when I talk about the Trinity, I don't know if folks are getting it when I'm talking about the Trinity and I'm speaking about spirit, soul, and body. The soul is between our, the soul is the psyche. So somebody has a psychological imbalance, for example. One level of spiritually diagnosing that is that the, the soul is being, is being pulled in two different directions. See, the soul is both your mind and your feelings. The mind is the upper part of your soul that connects with your God consciousness or, 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 or true spirituality, your consciousness of angels and demons and the almighty God. You understand? That's the spirituality part. That's the, that's the spirit part of us. That, and, and this is where the word, when we meditate on the word and when we speak the word and when we chant the word and we, you know what I mean? The word is spirit because you have spirit when you speak. Your spirit is your breath of life. But is your, is, is, is your spiritual and the words that you speak, you really have to check the words that you speak. Because sometimes we be saying stuff, or we used to say stuff like, yeah, man, this is killing me. Or I'm dying for such and such. Do you understand? Uh, no, 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 no. I remember when I was locked up on the block, and, you know, I was in this trance, right? I was calling all the white boys, the nigga and porch monkey, and all, all of this other good shit, <laughs> all that. And I was calling them, them damn toms over there, all the cracker names and the redneck shit, you know? You know, I had switched it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I always that example, but I'm gonna get this right here. You see, you see, you see. A lot of us identify our existence with how we feel, right? With with with, with our feelings, right? Feelings are good servants but poor masters. See, it's the discipline. It's a spiritual discipline, and the best spiritual discipline is staying in, in the I book. And whatever you don't understand, just take a moment and say, Abba, in the name of, in the name of your son, in the name of Yeshua, show me this. And, and have no doubt that he's going to show you it in due time. He might not show you it all at once because sometimes we're not mature enough to understand it all at once. Sometimes he shows you. You ever go through an experience in life where you ask God something and you went about your business and then you went through a lot of different experiences, and then you put it all together, and you were like, oh, that, that this stream of experiences, Jah was showing us point by point. Because remember when Christ even said it himself, Yeshua said it, Yesu said it. He said, I have more things to tell you, but you are not, you are not able to, you cannot bear it right now. In other words, there's more things that we have to learn and grow, and what happens is that some so eagerly desire spirituality. Like, for example, there's an example of some, some white boys who went down to the Indian, the Indian reservation, and the Indians take peyote for their spiritual, you know, as a sacrament, right? And, 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 and it creates a psychoactive state, like marijuana is psychoactive. So it opens up the soul. You know what book you really need to probably check out is Cannabis Matrix. You really, any, 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 any of us, and most of us do, with, with, with marijuana, need to read Cannabis Matrix. You, and, 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 and we'll see about getting a copy to you. Check it out, Cannabis Matrix. It's in the book section. Because Cannabis uh, Matrix. Uh, cannabis Matrix, right? Yeah, Cannabis Matrix. Because what Cannabis Matrix tells us is that when we compare this now with the Bible and true spirituality, right, that, that cannabis can have four different types of effects on four different types of people. It's like when you read in Matthew chapter 13, and Christ says that, that what, a sower went forth to sow a seed, and the seed fell into the four different kinds of ground, but it only bore, bore fruit in, in good ground. Now, if you know anything about farming, good ground is ground that you cultivate. Like you take out the stone, the thistles, the, the rocks out of it. Exactly. So, so now overstanding this in our spirituality, as, as true Rastafari, in Christ, in the teaching of his majesty, in Yeshua, in the Yesus, we have to take these things out of our own head and heart. You know, like sometimes I, I've been used to saying certain kind of things, and then the Holy Spirit showed me, you know, you're cursing yourself when you say that. 
you know, like, like, like people say, oh, I can, you know, or, or getting money is difficult. When you even say that, you're basically dismissing what John says in Deuteronomy 8 and 18. Remember when Christ was in the wilderness? He battled with the devil, right? He, even the devil of his own consciousness, right? He, but how did he overcome the devil? He overcame the devil by a proper, a rightly dividing the word of truth. The devil would say one thing, and he would try to be biblical. The devil tried to be biblical. But Christ knew the Bible better than the devil, right? And he rebuked him, and he put the, he put the word right. So you have to understand that when you start to reach certain levels through prayer and meditation and even fasting, you start, to, you start to encounter demonic entities, angels and demons. Now, if, if your discipline in the Bible is weak, the devil can say some shit to you or say, he can say something that sounds biblical, like he tried to do with the Messiah, right? And most of us would go for it. Most of, and that's what happens with so many people in these other ways out there that have led people astray because they don't know the word of truth because that word, even if they heard that word, remember the, the parable when the seed is sold in among the wayside, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but that's telling us something. Christ was using an example that the people of his time would understand. Now, we are in concrete jungle, and this is where there's a blockage where we get lost in mistranslation, is that we read that. And we're like, okay, that sounds nice, but what does it, how, how does it apply with I and I? We are like the ones that hear the word. It says when any man hear the word and does not understand it, right, then comes the, the evil one and snatches out of that one's heart what they sold. It's like when Christians go to their churches on Sunday all dress up and the pastor may preach a good preach, and then they go out. And, and they start arguing, cussing, and fighting, and back to their old ways. That word has gone by the wayside. So that word, even though they may be like, well, I'm a good Christian, I go to church often, why is this happening to me? The answer is, is in his word. Remember, Christ himself in the wilderness only overcame Sutan or Satan, the enemy, the adversary of our, our, our true spiritual being, by intelligent use of the word. This is why they try to keep the Bible from black men and people and, 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 and even, even righteous Gentiles, white folks. I mean, you, you hear about the persecution of early Christians. You hear about how they, they didn't want early Christians, right, to have the Bible in, in, in Rome and in, in Europe, and they didn't want black people, the Hebrews, to have the Bible in America. Why? Because once we recognize our true identity, even most folks who have a Bible and they go to church a lot, the only thing they read is that one verse the pastor gives them. You know what I'm saying? And, and Satan knows the word. The devil knows the word. And, and we see this example in, in Christ's temptation in the wilderness. Christ's temptation in the wilderness, if we are in Christ, Right? and we have the blood of Christ in us, and we have the life of Christ in us, that means that we begin to recognize, wow, here's how Christ handled that. Here's the attitude that Christ says to have. And it's almost like the question, what would Yeshua do? It's almost like saying, what would, the only way we know what Yeshua would do, a lot of folks say that, oh, Jesus wouldn't do that, and they are making up stuff off the top of their heads. Those people will fall to demonic deception quite, or already have fallen to demonic deception. Yeah, so 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 on the point of fasting, just to wrap this up a little bit, on the point of fasting, I would say look up uh, on the internet, try to go to some of the Ethiopian church sources of fasting. And what is the – because they still do have that same order. Whether everyone fasts – people, Ethiopians don't fast as much as they used to. And the fasting usually sometimes is, is, I think, on Monday and Wednesday, if I'm correct. Like on Mondays and Wednesdays, 
are usually times that people would fast for like the hours of the day. Yovas, you, you know, and, and I heard about the Friday fast too. Um, some would, I mean, some would fast. Also, some people fast on on Wednesdays and Fridays too. So, so there are different days of the week. I mean, one can choose a fast. Sometimes when I'm working, sometimes when I'm working, I don't I, I don't even eat, so I'm fasting. 